Right, we're on, the sun's out, as you can see. Whew, wow, it's bright, Scotland's roasting. So today, isn't golf an uphill struggle, isn't it? Uphill all the way. That we're going to work on when the ball's above your feet, because we do get these awkward lies. So let's, uh, let's stop this uphill struggle. Let's concentrate on little shots that really nobody teaches you. is so easy off flat lies. Nice flat lie. How can you go wrong? But you didn't have to change anything, it was all natural. This is what we practice on the range. We're just flat lie guys, flat lies all the time, practicing flat lies. Brilliant, look at that, both. Both of six feet, flat lies. I don't know about you, but I never get a flat lie. Right, we're on. Today we're talking about ball above the feet. This is a tricky one. This changes ball flight, this changes everything. We have to take this into consideration. Practice on the range, it's all flat. Dead simple, neutral. Then we come to the golf course, we play nine holes, we've not had one flat lie. Practice these shots, guys. So my golf ball is clearly above my feet here. The level of my feet is here. That's going into the ground on the level. So all this is closer to me. So the golf ball is closer to me because the ball is above my feet. So I have to account for that. So I take my dress position, club in line with target. Take my dress position. Now because the ball is closer to myself, I have to come down the shaft to compensate for that. So I have to come down the shaft. Therefore the ball is not going to travel quite as far because I've taken the radius off the club head. Or the, the arc the club head is going to take, I've narrowed the radius. Therefore the ball is not going to travel as far. All these little compensations that we make for the lie are going to change the distance and direction of the shot. I'll show you how. So I've come down, my club's in line with my intended target. I've come down. Now, I, I can just swing now. My ball is going to go to the left slightly because I've shallowed my angle. Or my, my swing plane is shallowed. Because the ball's above me, I'm flatter swinging more round here instead of up here. So therefore that's going to give me a more in to out path. I'm going to exit more to the left and low. Therefore, there's more chance of coming the ball and pulling it over to the left. So when the ball's above the feet, you're going to have to aim a little bit to the right. So to allow for that, I'm going to aim to the right. That's a serious slope. I'm going to aim to the right. And leave my club face pointing there, what feels like there. And then take my shot, having gripped down. Nice short swing, hit ball, come round. Now it's going to turn left. How far right do I have to aim? Depends on the severity of the slope. If I take this, if I take this magic cane, that's clever. Can I place this on my golf club? If my club face just now is pointing exactly towards target, it looks to me as though the leading edge is 90 degrees to the target. Okay, and I put this on here to see where the face is actually aiming. You can actually see now that my club face is pointing further left. So the more the club gets, the more the ball's above my feet, and I keep the leading edge pointing towards the target, the further and further left this is going to aim. The more loft on the club, this is going to be more exaggerated. These are the wee things no one teaches you. So the club face is now aiming left, although it looks to me as though it's pointing towards target. And I'm swinging flat around my body, which is making the ball go left. So in order to get the club face towards the target, I have to aim that far to the right. So there, now it's pointing towards target. But it's also going to curve left, so I have to aim further right to allow for that. Now I'm in the position that I can hit the golf ball. The ball's going to come back towards the target, but it shows you how far right I have to aim. Again, that all depends on the severity of the slope and the loft on the club. The more loft, the more the club's going to aim offline. The severity of the slope, the steeper the slope, the more it's going to aim, it's going to fly to the left. Do you think we should hit one? So my target... Down that line, you probably can't really see. There. My intended target is on that line there. Just about dropped my golf club. So I'm aiming perfectly on line. I'm now going to aim to the right to allow for the curve and the, the loft at impact. Or the loft on the club. Grip 
and down the shaft. Then from there, I'm just going to take my normal swing. It's going to be flatter, normal swing, and the ball will curve left because I've done my homework already. So nice and easy. Here it comes. Well, if you can see that coverage on the camera, brilliant. Got the ball to turn right to left. Same again. If I was to aim that towards the target, it's going to go left. It's going to, going to miss it. Going to miss it left. So I, I start off. Oh, that wind's just died. That's great. I start off aiming on line with my target. I take everything from the target, then I move it all to allow for the severity of slope and loft on the club. Okay. So start in line, then move things away, then just commit to it. Just commit. Just commit. Every shot has a purpose. So that's my club on line. I take my stance. Now I'm going to push myself out to the right to allow for the loft of the club and the fact that the severity of the slope is making me swing flatter, so it's going left. There, so I'm just trusting, I'm looking way over my left shoulder now to the flag. I'm just trusting this is going to happen. Then take my normal swing from there. There it comes. It's perfectly on target. Great. As I say, these little things you're not really taught them. Nobody really teaches you how to do that. And we work so hard on the range on these flat lies. I don't know anyone that goes up to the practice fairway and just moves to the side and plays from the semi rough. I don't know anyone that plays off slopes, slopes, uphill, downhill, ball above, ball below the feet. If the ball was below the feet, what do you think would happen? That's right, it'd be the opposite. Let's go. So the ball below the feet will be another day. We'll do another video on that. Of course, we're going to aim left this time. Swing plane or shaft angle, blah, 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 blah. it's all going to be more upright, so therefore the ball's going to curve to the right. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that helps with um, just these awkward lies. I, as I mentioned, nobody ever practices them. Get on the range, find somewhere you can practice where the lies are awkward. <laughs>